try to minimize their penalties as they get ready rolling offensively. And that one sails into the end zone. O'Keefe will kneel it. Robichaud in the backfield with him. Robichaud right up the gut. Pearls over a defender. Gets a first down. It looks like a 12-yard gain. Josh Minkins on the tackle. Got a fullback in the backfield. Now flexes out. Hand off up the middle to Robichaud. And he's going to have the first down after a gain of about three yards. Third and four. Handoff on the jet sweep, and not much there. Perhaps a gain of two. They're in no man's land on fourth and two. Castellanos hands it off to Robichaud, dives forward. It's going to be close. Both sides saying they got it, and based on the spot, it looks like he may be short. Transfer to Cal, now back with Jeff Brom reunited. And a toss play here to the receiver in motion. So second down and 11 here. Under pressure, Plummer wrapped up. And sacked there by Nato Okpala. There just a miscommunication. Nobody blocks him. Nato weaves through the traffic and is able to accelerate to go get Jack Plummer down for a second. While Plummer has been running a little bit, he's certainly not that. Plummer drops back. Got time, clean pocket. Fires away and is caught by his receiver. And taken down way short of the first down marker but multiple flags on the play the receiver Amari Huggins Bruce you got to make sure you're not having those self-inflicted wounds and off again to Jordan got a hole and he's gonna take it to the house a 33 yard touchdown for Jawar Jordan just by one person and he's able to now use that speed to get to the end zone Five plays, Two seconds, a 33-yard run capped off by Jordan. The extra point is up and good, and penalties again. He had a matchup there as Perry, the linebacker, and Castellanos is tripped up in the backfield. A loss of two on the play. Mason Rager took him down. Florida State. Yeah, big right tackle, Ozzie Trapulo right there blocking his man, but his feet are wide open. And Castellanos. Kevin Coleman to field it. A wobbler. And Coleman Fair catches it. Thrash in motion. Play action. And of course, out to Thrash on the perimeter. Thrash spinning around, making a couple of guys miss. Picks up the first down. Plummer. They pick up the blitz. Launches one down the field. He's got a man. It's Coleman. He comes up with the catch. And taken down as he dives inside. Putting it on the money for Coleman. It takes all 11. You look at Louisville being able to pick up the blitz and hit it in the mouth. Plumber does a heck of a job of dropping it right there into Brett. Man in motion. And they hand it off to Jordan again. Jordan gets to the five-yard line. He'll pick up enough for the first down after a three-yard gain. Quan Williams took him down eventually. Pistol formation. This time play action and an easy pitch and catch there. A touchdown to Kuriski. And Louisville puts up another touchdown on the board. I love the patience of Jake Plummer right here. Carrying out his fake early to let the defense know that I could I could keep it, I could keep it, but being able to buy the eyes and get it to Nate Kariski right there for easy touchdown. Travel stead with the extra point, an 11 play drive, 62 yards, five minutes and nine seconds off the clock. A one yard pass for the touchdown there. The extra point is up and good. What they're gonna do with him out there on the field. Second and nine. O'Keefe in the backfield, they dump it off to him, and he heads towards the sideline, picking up the first down and then some, as he is running out of bounds about the 37-yard line. 200th career catch for Ryan O'Keefe after the 11-yard game. And finally, Boston College back in business here. Castellanos in trouble and sacked from behind. Taken down there by Ashton Gelati. Right here you see Gelati just beat the left tackle. Logan Taylor right there is able to get inside to go get that sack. A heck of a job right in Berkeley. O'Keefe in the backfield. Castellanos on the keeper. And he is taken down. And Kevin Coleman to 
field it. Fair catch at the 30 yard line. And Jake Plummer and company. Plummer on third and three, high snap, is able to hold it. Brought it down in trouble. And he's going to run for the first down. Runs out of bounds after a four yard gain. That's a lot of football, three quarters off the play. Thanks for the time. You got it, thanks. Thank you, Maryland. They set up a screen here for Louisville on first and 10 to Garendo. He gets into BC territory and taken down at the 45 yard line as Boston College has converted one of four and Louisville four of four. Now, Boston College did have a completion. And speaking of completions, they got a man and it's a touchdown. Big play there to Amari Huggins Bruce. 45 yard strike from Jack Plummer. Huggins Bruce scored the touchdown, but you got to give props to the offensive line and Isaac Garendo because Isaac Garendo just picked up the blitz. Uh, Bruce down the field for that easy score. Five plays, 70 yards, two minutes and five seconds off the clock. Extra point is good. That 45 yard touchdown pass. Castellanos with time. Throws to the sideline, incomplete, and batted away there by Jarvis Brownlee. Punt by Loretto. Fielded near the 40 yard line there by Kevin Coleman. Three touchdowns thus far. They have three touchdowns thus far. And Plummer loses the football. Did it go out of bounds? I think that They'll one say they kept it. Yep. Yeah. They have three touchdowns on three drives thus far, leading 21 to nothing with a little over 12 minutes to go in the second quarter. Plummer drops back. Got a clean pocket. Goes to the sideline to thrash near the sticks. Are they going to mark him there? Yes, they're going to say first down at the 49-yard line. Jamari Thrash. Plummer tosses it out to the boundary to Thrash on a wide receiver screen. He will pick up the first down after a four-yard game. First to 10 from the 38-yard line of BC. Plummer rolling out of the pocket. Finds his man. Makes a man miss. Gets inside the 20 and taken down near the 10-yard line. I told you about the hands of Maurice Turner out of the backfield. Yeah, talking to offensive coordinator Brian Brown this week, he talked about Maurice Turner and just how he has that big play ability, but also having those great hands as well. And right off the bat. All at the 11-yard line. Plummer, play action on the slant. Incomplete, but a flag on the play intended for Chris Bell. Pistol formation. Whiskey in motion. The handoff to Turner up the middle. And he gets swallowed up immediately. Neto Akpala on the tackle there. Akpala and Rooks just do a heck of a job of beating the offensive lineman right off the bat to get him to backfield and bring up no gain right there. A loss of, on the play there. Eighth play of the drive coming up here for Louisville. Tight end in motion. Plummer rolling to his right. Got plenty of time. Pump fakes twice. Now he's going to take off and run. He dives for the pylon. Touchdown! Jack Plummer showing off the wheels. Four possessions, four TDs for Louisville. Eight plays, 61 yards on that drive. Four minutes and four seconds off the clock. Plummer, when we asked him about running, because Coach Brown, something he's done a ton of in his career, and he said at Cal, what people didn't know is that he was playing on a torn, partially torn PCL, that he was almost like a sitting duck back there at times. The extra point is up and good for Travelstead. One of five on third downs. Castellanos, clean pocket, throws, finds Griffin for a first down as he gets across the 40-yard line to the 41. Quincy Riley with his play. 400 total yards against Florida State. This week, Louisville looks ready. Castellanos, clean pocket, throws, has a man. It is caught there by O'Keefe inside the 40-yard line of Louisville as he is starting to settle in now on this particular drive. An 18-yard gain there. You see the confidence with Castellanos throwing the ball down the field. When this offensive line picks up the blitz and they're able to block and keep the pocket clean, this young man can throw it all up and down the field. He's comfortable making any throw in this playbook as we just saw a laser to O'Keefe right there. Garwo checks in in the backfield. He'd been dinged up in previous games. Castellanos with the keeper. He's got a hole. 
He's headed down the sideline. He's going to call the house and say, yo, I'm coming into the end zone. A 39-yard scamper in Castellanos has arrived in Louisville. There's a party in the end zone, and everybody's invited. Thomas does a heck of a job right here, reading the end man on the line of scrimmage, seeing that he goes down, and now taking the ball and showcasing that athleticism, but also showcasing how electrifying he could be with the football in his hands. So BC with some life here. Connor with the extra point, up and good. And his head coach from high school, Jason Strickland, said he's showing off his personality, what makes him so infectious. And Strickland believes the college football world will see it. Castellano sitting down on the sidelines and yelling, we will celebrate whenever we complete this comeback. By the way, Florida State won in overtime today against Clemson. Play action for Plummer. Fires one down the field. He's got a man. It's caught inside the 10. Chris Bell. Those explosive plays by Jeff Braun in this offense continue. Yeah, Palmer does a great job of delivering this ball, but Chris Bell does a great job of using his speed and athleticism to create separation to make it an easier throw for Jack Plummer right there. Pistol formation with Jordan in the backfield. The handoff to Jordan, and he gets it to the end zone, plows his way through, and Louisville just slicing and dicing up that Boston College defense. Another explosive play. This time to Chris Bell led to the touchdown. Because you're not, no one person is going to be able to tackle this guy in the open field as we've seen this afternoon. The extra point is up and good by Travelstead. Here's Castellanos on the keeper. He'll get a first down there, 11-yard gain. There's the touchdown again by Jordan. He's a running back that all offensive linemen would love to have because he's always going to make you right, George. He's always going to bring that physicality while running in between the tackles. First and 10 from the 36-yard line. Castellanos, clean pocket, fires over the middle. It is caught by Dino Tomlin just past or inside the 45-yard line with the lick there on Tomlin. A big first down gain there. A big time th for BC trying to get something going here before the half. Two minutes to go here in the first half at LNN Stadium. Pocket collapsing. Castellanos avoids the tackler, throws it off his back foot. It is complete there for a first down to Jaden Williams, the junior out of Texas, to put up some points. Castellanos, pressure coming. He avoids the tackler, throws off his back foot, and it is complete to Lewis Bond. The ball pops out, but he's going to be well shy of the first down. Broom shifts to the right side of Castellanos. Castellanos flushed out of the pocket. He's got room to run if he wants it. He launches it into the end zone, and it's caught for a touchdown. Ryan O'Keefe, a 30-yard score. So the play will stand as you heard, and Castellanos, this is what he brings to the table, Orlando. He makes something out of nothing. Yeah, unbelievable. Man, if you're BC, you're excited. Ron Inglis, the DC, went all out blitz on that last play again, and the young quarterback was able to use his legs, buy some time by running all the way to the field. And it looks like they're going to kneel it. Or not. A trick play to Jordan. He's got room to run and taken down inside the 35-yard line. Trickeration trying to put it on Boston College here. Yeah, right there we see Jack Plummer take the snap and hand it off to Jawar Jordan. You know, I was saying take a knee, George, because I wanted to keep the momentum and keep the confidence. Coleman in motion. Plummer with time, clean pocket. Fires one down the field. He's got a man. It's Thrash. Touchdown. Jamari Thrash. We were just talking about how they hadn't gone to him for a big play. And you see it right there. They dial it up. A 42-yard pitch and catch from Plummer to Thrash for a touchdown. To get Jamari Thrash out there and open. And Jamari Thrash just uses his speed and takes care of business right there. First seven. 
Plummer, 12 of 14, 243 yards, three TDs in the air, one on the ground. And Travelstead with the extra point, up and good. Also not pleased with his group. Plummer sets up the screen for Jordan. Jordan makes a man miss. He's off to the races, down the sideline. Another house call for Jawan Jordan. 75 yards. That dude is him. Out here in space and take care of business. You're going to get your offensive lineman out here for a screen block just out in front of him at the second level, and you could see when this guy gets the ball in his hand with those big guys up front in front of him, he's going to make guys miss out in the open space. And offensive linemen, you love those drives. Those one and done drives, a heck of a job. Coach Jeff Brom, a nice. His third touchdown of the game. Louisville scored as the extra point is up and good. Seven touchdowns. A steep hill to climb Maryland now for Boston College. Castellanos, play action. Got time, out to the boundary to Dino Tomlin, makes a man miss. And hurries down the sideline for a first down. A gain of 14 on the play, actually 15 on the play. Jalen Alderman chases him out of bounds. Yeah, that's Louisville's first time scoring on the first seven drives since 2007 against Murray State. Castellanos under pressure and throws it out of bounds. Sails one above the head of Lewis Bond, but a flag on the play. Castellanos, second and ten, and off up the gut for Robichaux. He drags some defenders after a 13-yard gain for a first down. The show continues to show you that I am fully dialed in and checked into this football game. He's covering that ball up with two hands as he goes through the middle. Second and ten from the 33. Castellanos, quarterback keeper. He gets it to the open field, slides, and takes a vicious hit. His helmet pops off this week. That those are things he's got to get used to as he plays. A strike down the middle. Castellanos to Bond for the touchdown. A 22-yard strike. He's finding his rhythm. Does BC still have time? We'll find out. The extra point, Liam Connor is up and good. Third straight TD drive for Boston College five for five on third downs thus far. They hand it off to Garendo up the middle and not much there. About a two yard gain, Quan Williams takes him down and a fourth down call here for Jeff Brown. Yeah, if you're coach uh, Abdul Rahim, the DC, you gotta feel comfortable and happy that your defense has finally been able to come up with a stop. And as you can see, coach Jeff Brown, livid on on the sidelines because that's the first time his offense has been stopped all day having some choice words it seems like over there livid is probably a good description travelstead is both the punter and the kicker for louisville Jaden williams awaiting to field it at his own 10. and that one almost blocked williams will let it bounce and it's going to take a louisville bounce down to the three yard line Three receivers attack us the tight end. Castellanos with time. Throws it to Bond, who can't haul it in. Bounces off his chest incomplete, and BC will be forced to punt. Thriller in Death Valley. Plummer, play action. Under pressure, throws it down the field. has got a man, it's Huggins Bruce, who gets in the end zone. Touchdown! A flag on the play. 55 yards if it stands for the touchdown. Balls. He's been showing Case and his ability, looking off safeties, but putting the ball exactly where he knows his wide receivers are going to get it. Amari Huggins Bruce just runs underneath it because of the type of ball that Jack Pupil was going to come down low in front of him, but he stands in there tough and delivers a strike down the field. Travis then with the extra point up and good. A career high fifth touchdown pass. Lewis Bond in the backfield with Castellanos. Pressure coming, they set up the screen to Bond. He breaks out of some tacklers as he spins out, heading towards the sideline. It's a foot race and tackle near the 30-yard line. Lewis Bond. That's what this offense needs. A guy like Lewis Bond to go out there and play till the whistle. You know, he catches the ball in traffic, he's able to get out loose, and then it becomes a foot race. And he's Second and 20 from the 40-yard line of Louisville. 
Castellanos steps up, throws, got him in. O'Keefe down the sideline, cutting back inside and taken down inside the 10 yard line. Castellanos, pressure coming, taken down near the 10 yard line. Sacked there by Jalen Alderman. When you have these quarterbacks that like to scramble, you've got to come from outside, especially with a little. Blummer dumps it down to Turner. Turner going backwards there, not much there. Yeah, if he plays a touchdown when you draw it up and with the AC being 73 degrees, right? Yeah, third and 15, Plummer dumps it down again to Turner, makes a man miss down the sideline, and it'll be shy of the first down, about five yards shy. Another run up the middle, this one close to the sticks. You mentioned the run for Castellanos. He had 95 yards on the ground against Florida State. Fires one over the middle. This time it's caught by Griffin near the 35-yard line. They'll mark him down. All right there. You're going to have two wide receivers end up running in cuts. And you're able to see right there Griffin go up and get it throughout the whole play right there. But Boston College gets it back. Third and 11. Fire one down the sideline. And it is caught. Joseph Griffin. With yeah, Joseph Griffin does a heck of a job of seeing this ball the whole entire time and going and getting it for his young quarterback, Thomas Castellano. Castellanos with Tom in motion. Has plenty of time. Finds Lewis Bond on the crosser. Easy touchdown as he walks it in. And BC trying to stay alive. Just surveying the whole entire field until he finds Lewis Bond on that short crossing route. And Lewis Bond is able to get easily to the end zone. Castellanos to Bond. The extra point is up and good. Give you Jeff Brown. Yeah, let the big boys go get it, right? Hand it off again. A short game. Clock is not your friend if you're the Eagles. Plummer. Buying time. It gets wrapped up. Jaden Williams standing by to receive for Boston College this time. And a short punt. Williams Fair catches it at about the 21 yard line. There is a six yard gain there. Moorhead dances out of the pocket and gets taken down. And he throws a strike to Griffin. Gets the first down and then some and out of bounds. Moorhead again in for Castellanos here. Moorhead batted down at the line of scrimmage by Cela Brown. Yeah, you big defensive lineman. If you don't get to the quarterback, you got to be able to get your hands up. And Cela Brown does a heck of a job right here on this play, being able to get his hands up. Fourth down and five. BC one for three on fourth down. Oh. Moorhead throws it too high for his intended target. Fourth down here, fourth and one. And a fake there by Doman. He's trying to push the pile. Did he get enough? Of course, his brother's on this staff. A lot of guys on this coaching staff who played for Louisville. That's Garendo. With a run there, a flag though on the play. Yeah, it's one thing to take a head coaching job somewhere, but it's another thing to go back to your alma mater. When you go back to your alma mater, there are high expectations. When it comes to playing for your alma mater, coaching rather your alma mater. Hand off up the middle and a first down. A beautiful job of running the four-minute offense. Right now, if you're, Lord, well, if you're Coach Brown, you feel really excited about this offense. If you're Coach Brown, you've got to feel good about this offensive performance. A lot of different wide receivers getting involved, but the run game was working early and often, and you were able to finish the football game leaning on those big guys up front to run the football.